Assalamualaikum and hello. My name is Dayang Shakila. I'm from group number 9. My group member is Alester, George, Delerion, Kiong, and Joanne. So, we're going to talk about Rhino Hornbill. The Rhinoceros Hornbill is a large species of forest hornbill. It can live up for up 35 years and we also can found in lowland and mountain, tropical and subtropical, climates and in mountain rainforests. The Rhinoceros Hornbill is the state bird of the Malaysian state of Sarawak and the country's national bird. Some type of people, especially the Ibanic groups, believe it to be the chief of worldly birds or the supreme worldly bird and its statue is used to welcome the god of the augural birds, Senggalang Burong, the fierce and celebration of humankind. Next, my friend going to talk about issues Rhinos Hornbill. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, my name is Alistair Mafia Marcos and today I'm going to present about my part which is the issues. First of all, the rhinoceros hornbill is classified as the near treatment by the IU, IUCN and face many challenges in the wild. The issues that are resulting in a loss of this species are caused by illegal hunting and deforestation. Deforestation that caused by human might destroy the rhinoceros hornbill habitat in the forest. Okay, next point is the hunting. Hunting is a both for food and traditional medicine, while various parts of bird parts, particularly the feather, beak, and casquet, are used in costume and ritual. The beak of hornbill, which is symbol of Sarawak splendor, was sold more than one thousand U.S. dollar, in, that equal to RM four thousand and eleven ringgit Malaysia on the Chinese black market. Thus threatening the wild animal habitat and being categorized as one of the most endangered animals in the state. The beak of Rhinoceros hornbill also used to make the magical item because according to the belief of the villager, the hornbill beak can bring luck to the person who use it. Okay, thank you. That's all for me. Talking on the solution for the study in the Rhino Hornbill and so on. The first solution that we propose is through international cooperation, which the first one that we, which the first one that we would like to suggest is through a convention on international trade in endangered species, where where we targeted for regulating the trade of endangered species, particularly the Rhino Hornbill, whether domestic or abroad, due to due to high trafficking of of Rhino Hornbill from Malaysia and to the other other overseas country. This is also used to to enforce the policies to combat against illegal poaching and threat of of the rhino hornbill. And then on the second solution is through enforcement of laws and regulation. In here we will talk about the local laws and regulation that that have already been proposed in Malaysia such as X seven one six, X six X six X six and in Sarawak through Sarawak Ordinance Chapter twenty six. This these laws, are, these laws are used to punish and also to give fines to any illegal poachers that tries to, that tries to hunt for rhino. The second solution to protect the rhinoceros hornbill is control the smuggling. The government must do the tighten broader control of this bird between Malaysia and surrounding country. They also can cooperate with international police to prevent smuggling of wildlife. Hello, my name is Joanne Mylap. The topic that I will be talking about is awareness of rhino hornbill. There are few awareness activities that has been done. For example, on August 23, 2019, Worldwide Fund for Nature Malaysia WWF Malaysia Sarawak Conservation Program took on its first mural painting project at Chunghua Middle School. WWF Malaysia sees mural painting as an opportunity to create awareness to the public on the importance of conserving wildlife in Sarawak. They also want to create positive impression towards these magnificent birds in hope that 
it will trigger positive actions from members of the public. Besides that, Love Horn Bill's Day. It is for raising awareness and appreciating the beauty and importance of the rainforest farmers in Asian rainforests. Asian hornbills are some of the largest and most striking birds found anywhere on our planet. These unique birds highlight the diversity of bird life in Asian forests and illustrate the essential role that many birds play as seed dispersers in maintaining the health of rainforest ecology. They are affectionately described as the gardeners of the rainforest. They make perfect conservation flagship species to increase awareness about the rich biodiversity in this unique ecosystem. Thank you. As a conclusion, we as humans must do our job to protect these endangered animals because if these endangered animals go extinct, therefore some things in the nature will be changed and that will be the blame on us to not do our job to protect these endangered species because who else would take care of them under other than us that's all for me today thank you and spread awareness towards the others